Riff Raff, Riff Raff. There's a channel out there called Riff Riff Raff. One day, I just get my camera, go to Bournemouth, go for a pot of tea, have a walk around somewhere, and go to Brown Sea Island or take go to. So I'm always PB member. I can go and watch birds. I've got some binoculars and and do a bit of hiking in that. I've got I've got no I mean, I need to, I need to start doing some new hobbies. Um I need to go back doing voluntary work. That that's my mistake. Not continuing with the voluntary work. See voluntary work give me a purpose. Cuz that means I didn't drink the day before. I got I I'd stay focused. And voluntary work's good, man. Voluntary work's good. Because you, because you meet new friends, new 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 people. I get on all right with the customers. I've got good social skills. And I'm wasting my life away, really. I know I've got problems. I know it's life's not easy. Do you know what I mean? I'm not saying it's a bed of roses or do you know what I mean? It's just millions of people with problems like this. But I just gotta go back to doing voluntary work. I want I wanna yeah, I wanna go back I, I want mine a part time job or something. Um but no one really gonna employ me because I'm fifty. Why they employ me when I've got no skills, no work history? They're gonna employ somebody in who's 18, 19, 20, because they can pay less weight wages. Uh, don't really employ somebody like me. I thought I'm going to get a job at Screw Fix down the road. I can open up Screw Fix at half past five in the morning, get all the click and collect stuff ready for people to come and collect. Hey, mate. Hey, oh, Mr. Smith, you come for your painting, your paintbrush, and your roller. I've got it here for you, mate. There you go. How are you doing? All right, not too bad, mate. Lovely. How, how did the other things go? I'll be, I'll be a good, I'll be a good, I'll be a good uh, asset to the company. I'll be a good staff for the company. I've got good social skills. I'm going to walk down the road, open up screw fix, turn all the lights on, eating on, make sure stop, wait, wait for the deliveries to come, come, come in, uh, get all the things. But they didn't want to employ, employ they didn't want to employ me. I want mine working in a ticket office for the train station. Oh, but nobody wants to employ me, mate. I mean, why can't, if people have got hidden disabilities or some kind of problem, right? Why don't job center uh, have someone to speak up on your behalf? So they anyway, hey, Mark, we've got you uh, a job interview with B&Q or, um, I don't know. Um, work, working somewhere, National Trust, or uh, got an interview. Go, we'll set you up an interview. They know all about your condition, all that lot. You'd go there, find. You know what I mean? But I've got to go out there and fight for myself, and try and get a job myself. It's not easy. I've got to try and explain to people about myself. Uh, sometimes I say things they don't really understand what I'm saying. I would love a morning job. Get up at four or five o'clock in the morning and finish about two o'clock in the afternoon. Because <laughs> then when I, when I come home at two, that means I can't drink because I'm working next day. So I can't drink. If I, if I had a job five days a week, I won't, I won't drink. What would I? Because I'll I, 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 I be working. That would fucking help me out, that would. If I had a job, but nobody wants to employ, employ me, mate. Nobody wants to fucking employ, employ me. There's jobs out there where you need a car. I mean, how am I going to get to work at four or five o'clock in the morning when the first train's at 20 past six and the first bus is half past six? So if I start work at five o'clock in pool or ball, how, how am I going to get there? I ain't going to get there, am I? I mean, it's right to start work uh, in Pool and Bournemouth. Then when you start, somebody might say, well, Mark, 
I'll come past where I'm, I can pick you up. But it's getting the job first and getting to know people first. But it is what it is. Um, I'm probably be stuck on the benefit system for the rest of my life. But it's that boredom what kills you. Boredom and loneliness kill, kills you guys. It fucking kills you, mate. So we're waking up every day with nothing to do. It's like, um, but it is what it is. But anyway, I'm going to try and cut it right down, guys. Once a week, once a week. I might decide not to drink to the 5th of November. I've, but I don't think I'll have 24 days on now because boredom gets me. When I'm bored, I turn to alcohol. Um, but why is it going to be alcohol all the time? I mean, when I go out somewhere, alcohol's involved. But I could have gone to Swanage yesterday and had a pot of tea. Why was I drinking beer? Why was I putting beer in the bag and going to Swanage? Could have gone to Swanage and had a pot of tea. Or could have had a nice sandwich and a pot of tea. I'd have walked around the pier, took some nice photographs, seagulls and scenery, and come back home and had a nice day out. But I had to take alcohol with me. I'm like, relying on the alcohol to get me through the day and i've got to go back to drinking once a week because i do like drinking beer don't get me wrong i do like it so i'll never pack in right i'm never packing right but let's take one day at a time 